Hi everybody, Dr. Ray Blue here, and this is my movie review of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, directed by Mel Stewart and based on the 1964 novel Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Raoul Dahl. The film follows the story of a young boy named Charlie, who finds one of five golden tickets that have been placed in Willy Wonka's chocolate bars. Finders of the ticket are awarded the greatest lottery a young child could imagine gaining access to Wonka's mystical and magical world where candy and chocolate is created as well as a lifetime supply of chocolate will be given to the winner. Not as exciting as winning millions of dollars perhaps, but that would be one awesome prize for kids. These lucky winners are sent on a wild adventure through Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, which is far more than just a simple candy production line. Run by Wonka, an eccentric mad hatter of sorts, his candy is produced with the help of Oompa Loompas little men coming from a mysterious place called Lupa Land. There they were hunted by various predators and Wonka invited them to work for him at his factory, paid with their favorite food, cocoa beans. The Oompa Loompas spend their days making candy and singing songs, including moralizing songs for each misbehaving child. Not all of this journey is sweet for the children, as they are actually being put to various tests of character and only the last child to make it through this tour of Wonka's factory will come out a true winner. During the tour, all the children are tested as all but one can rise to the top and prove their worth as Wonka's successor. The film has a wonderful balance of adventure, comedy, and also a darker tone that includes Wonka's arch rival, Arthur Slugworth, who has repeatedly sent spies disguised as employees to steal Wonka's secret recipes, particularly that of the everlasting gobstopper. In addition to Slugworth and his creepy attempts at bribing the kids to reveal Wonka's secrets, Wonka himself has a bit of a dark side, an untrusting and cynical side that arises at various times through the film, and yet is still played in a comical and fun way by the great Gene Wilder. Perhaps one of the most foreboding parts of this tour is the wondrous boat ride, where the children and their parents take a bizarrely magical trip into the heart of his factory. A long way, Willie sings the song, The Rowing Song, in a low and menacing voice. The song gives all aboard a sense of fright and confusion, with lyrics that warn, there's no earthly way of knowing which direction we are going. Definitely one of the best scenes in the film for me. While the book's writer, Roll Dahl, was disappointed in the film version because he thought it placed too much emphasis on Willy Wonka and not enough on Charlie, I imagine he would have had preferred Gene Wilder and the original version over Johnny Depp's bizarre interpretation decades later. Gene Wilder is perfect as Willy Wonka, and there should have never been a remake of the film, as it was not necessary and couldn't have really improved. Wilder himself called the remake an insult, adding it was all about the money. Shame on you, Tim Burton. Shame. Rather than watching any such money grab, the original classic film is a masterpiece. While it is certainly dated, the magic and fantasy is still there and nothing could beat the presence of Wilder's Willy Wonka. As Wonka states in the film, we are the music makers and we are the dreamers of the dreams. While not exactly a box office hit when it was released, the film has come to be a true classic of family cinema, filled with magic and wonderment for children and adults alike. Over the years it has developed a great following of fans, repeatedly shown on TV and later released in various anniversary editions. This film should definitely reside in every family's home movie collection worth its salted caramel. Pick up a copy today! Thank you for watching. Please comment below with your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends, and help spread the madness.